Good afternoon, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to export into Google Docs spreadsheets data from Account Edge. So I'm in my command center, but I'm going to go up to the far left and go to the item called export data. I'm going to come down and today I'm going to export some time and billing sales. I click on that and I'm going to use a comma separated file and this separates your data or tab delimited. For my example today, there's going to be commas in between my data elements. And I'm going to choose that my first record in the export comes through, which is the labeling of each of the data fields in Account Edge. I'm actually just to get a good amount of data, I'm going to bring over all the invoices, but you may just want to bring over your order, quotes, sales, or some variety. But I'm going to take them all so I can. Uh, get a good amount of data to come over. I'm also going to just bring all dates, but I could bring last month or any range of dates. And that's the date of your invoice date um, account is just going to look at. Um, I also can further filter it uh, before I bring it out by identifier. So on your card file, if you're using identifiers and you only wanted to bring over an identifier that meant uh, um, a department, for instance, or some other type of usage, you're able to filter your records. But I'm just going to hit continue here. And for the simplicity's sake, I can bring over each field. I can uh, match all the fields or unmatch all the fields. I'm going to bring over all the data uh, because I want to be able to manipulate it when I get over to uh, Google Docs. So then I'm going to hit export. And at this point, it's going to prompt me to name the file I'm exporting. And I'm going to overwrite the file I was working on earlier today. And I'm going to say save. And it says, OK, replace that. And that's going to export all my time in billing sales. So now, as you can see, I've got my file here, my text document file, under my Account Edge folder. Now you could have saved that to any folder. Now I've opened up into Google Docs and I'm in Sheets. And from Sheets, I'm going to uh, create a new spreadsheet. And it's really quite simple. We'll just name this spreadsheet briefly. We'll call it Sample uh, Sales Import, Monthly Sales. And I'm going to go over to File and and I'm going to hit import. So um, when I go to import, I'm going to look at my upload. I'm going to upload that text file that I was just working on. So to upload that file, I can either drag that file here or I can select that file from my computer. Okay, and selecting that file, I'll go back to where I left it, and that was under my account edge. Uh, file and I'm going to hit hit that button right there and what you'll see come up is uh, it wants to import my um, time and billing sale text file and in this case I'm going to create a new spreadsheet but you have a, a multitude of options I can insert it into a sheet if I was doing existing analysis I can actually append it which means add to not overwrite existing um, sheet that I'm working on or I can actually replace it uh, with a and that's pretty brave, actually, in the import world. Also, make sure you have a, co a copy saved. Uh, I'm going to tell it what it is. I have a uh, character. Um, <clears throat> commas are separating my data columns. And um, that's pretty standard to, for imports. I'm going to use uh, the same kind of file that I took out of Account Edge that I can bring into uh, my Excel or spreadsheet. So I'm going to hit Import at this point. And it says it was done successfully. And now I can see all my data columns that I'm willing to see. So I really appreciate everyone listening. Uh, thank you. Uh, 